So me and Clyde are not only partners, but we dress alike now. Yes, <laughs> exactly right. This That's was so planned. Funny. Yes. That's funny, actually. I cannot believe the difference, man. That's crazy. Clyde's worked his ass off over here, man. It looks so good. Clyde has like really gotten this by the horns, haven't you? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a little bit of an undertaking, right? Yes. We ended up having to replace the roof. And part of redoing the roof, we had to redo the metal and all the insulation in between the metal and the TPO. Yeah. And uh, I think we went with what, like an R30? R30, which is eight and a half inches thick of insulation. Okay. What is the importance, you think, of holding some funds from that contractor until we've checked out the roof and things like that? Right. The purpose of holding funds on the roof on this project was that we were waiting on the warranty. So what happens is the installer comes in, installs it, Tamico comes in, does the inspection from the installer, and then they take over and give us a 20-year warranty on the roof, materials, and the labor. So once they give us our warranty, then you finish paying the roofer and, and you're complete. We had to do some plumbing, do all new electrical, all new, new heating and air. We put four 10-ton units on the roof. We had to move some exterior doors around, polish the concrete floors. What is the process of polishing these floors? Okay, the process of polishing the floors are, you've, you've got a grinder with diamond blades. You, you take this di a grinder and it grinds off the top surface. Then you actually take uh, pads and polish it. So this is your first cut, what they call first cut, and it's cut with these diamond blades. These are what they call diamond cut blades. So these diamond cut blades actually cut the top off the concrete, and they just magnetic stick in and slide back up there. As far as working with the, with the companies that do the build outs, we contacted five different companies. Two companies immediately told me, hey, we don't do indoor. We only do outside stuff. The company we used was probably not quite the cheapest company, but they felt like they had a handle on it better than anybody else. Time-wise, they were able to get us in the end of February and get started on this stuff. So I've had people reach out wanting to buy this place, and I've had other people reach out asking if we're looking for other locations. Um, but you know, like this was just a unique opportunity, I think, because of what it was, but we'd love to find more opportunities like this, I think. Yeah. What made it unique is just this building was, was in need of somebody to buy it quickly, so they were very motivated. Hey guys, we're here to meet Lee Counts. She is the listing agent. She also brought me this deal. She brought it to me because she likes working with the best investor in town. We are gonna meet her and go over the process of how it works when an agent brings me the deal and kind of how the whole process of me remodeling it and letting them relist it works, okay? The house was in pretty bad shape. It was in a lot of disrepair, as you remember. So for them to be able to go to market, they were gonna have to put cash up front out of their pocket. Reaching out to you was um, a really great option. And I'm so happy you did, <laughs> thank you. We came in after we bought it, we remodeled it, updated it completely, and then let you relist it. That's right. So how did that go? A dream. Okay. <laughs> it was, we, uh, it, you just made it so easy. I mean, clearly looking around, the house is gorgeous. We had a ton of interest. I believe we had 22 showings the first day awesome. and multiple offers. The area for sure was a huge draw, but an agent puts that it's a Matthew Gregory renovation. People wanted to get in and see this house and have an opportunity to make it their own. Yes. So one thing we did here is it had a, um, a large vanity and then it had a built-in tub. I felt like that was kind of out of style and it's kind of an ugly color. So we pulled all that out and we put a vessel tub, double vanity, and then a shower with a glass door. And I think it really turned out good. What do you think? And so pretty, it's so light and bright and everybody loves. I mean, like this has soft close doors on it. So everything's just super modern and clean and really beautiful. When this house came up, why did you reach out to me here? Like I said, you have such a great reputation, not just with agents, 
but just in the community because in this day and age we have hundreds of investors right. that are coming into Birmingham, they're buying distressed homes, they're flipping them either to sell them quickly, to cash out of them, or on the flip side maybe they're selling them or holding them for long-term investment for rentals. It's not what, what we need as a community. And what we love about you is you come in with heart and you take these homes and you rehab them, take them from distressed, and make them a home for somebody else instead of putting them on the rental market. Because we have experience and a team of qualified contractors and subs, I think we really bring a great product. We are we're here to stay. We have been in this market for 22 years going over a thousand houses we've put up so we really want to do more and more in our areas. People have that confidence in right. your work and so much of this property in particular was renovated really right. top to bottom so they clearly had the confidence to come in with a no inspection contingency yeah. offer and that really set them apart yeah. from the rest. Yeah it helped. Okay so what we're looking for hoarder houses, houses in need of repair, burned houses, motivated sellers. There are some times where, you know, there might not be a lot wrong with the house, but they just need a quick sell.